People want to put my baby in the microwave, and they tell me that. They There's a conversation it. with you. With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. Remember when the hashtag Meghan Markle is a monster was trending online? Well, it looks like people have taken things to the next level because everybody is now talking about how Meghan is just as bad as, or even worse than Amber Heard. This is the final straw for Meghan, and she has made it clear that she is not here for the nasty comments at all. But what made fans even compare Meghan to Amber in the first place? Is she really as bad as Amber? Very few women have gotten as much media attention as Meghan Markle and Amber Heard have. They have both trended on social media at various times, and though their circumstances are as different as can be, the majority of the attention that they get is negative and they are dragged for essentially the same thing. When Amber got married to actor Johnny Depp in 2015, she was an up-and-coming actress and relatively a small fish as far as Hollywood was concerned. Sure, she had the looks, but she was not getting media attention because she hadn't landed any major roles yet. But when she got married to Johnny, she was instantly catapulted into stardom, she started getting more media attention, and more importantly, she started landing bigger roles, such as the role of Mira in the DC extended universe. But then things soon went downhill when she accused Johnny of DV, claiming that he hurt her multiple times during their marriage. She filed for divorce and Johnny became the bad guy. He lost multiple endorsement deals, was kicked out of several projects he was working on, and found it very hard to book new jobs. He suddenly went from Hollywood darling to a pariah, and nobody wanted to work with him. Then, things took a crazy turn when Johnny released evidence that showed that Amber had lied about the DV and that she had been the aggressive one in their marriage and had hurt him on several occasions, including a time when she threw a bottle at him and caused him to sever a finger. People turned against Amber and started dragging her for causing Johnny's downfall and destroying his career. She was called manipulative, narcissist, and hashtags like Amber Heard is a liar were trending on Twitter. It caused such a level of frenzy that very few celebs have managed to cause, and one of such people is Meghan Markle. Meghan married into the British royal family in May 2018, and while things were pretty good at first, they didn't stay that way because things soon got out of hand. It started slowly with the British media writing negative articles about her that put her in a bad light. Then, then, some information was leaked about her by anonymous sources that worked with or for the royal family. It's interesting to note that there have been speculations that the anonymous leaks were done on purpose by the royal family to get negative attention off Prince William and set Meghan up. There were so many rumors comparing her to Prince William's wife, Kate Middleton, and there was even an article about how she was a bully who made Kate cry during preparations for Meghan and Harry's wedding, and how she was rude to her staff and nobody wanted to work for her. Gradually, the British people got over their admiration for Meghan and accused her of trying to break apart the royal family. There were speculations that she had made Harry choose between her and his family, and that she was a manipulative narcissist. Things got even worse in 2020 when they announced that they were stepping back from their duties as senior working members of the royal family. They posted a statement on Instagram saying, After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. They can continued, it is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. We look forward to sharing the full details of this exciting next step in due course as we continue to collaborate with Her Majesty the Queen, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Cambridge, and all relevant parties. Until then, please accept our deepest thanks for your continued support." Meghan was dragged for finally breaking up the royal family and stealing Harry away from his family and taking him to a America. Even though Harry is a fully grown man who is more than capable of making his own decisions, she was viciously attacked and dragged by the British media and the British people. And even though it has been two years since that, it looks like many Brits have still not forgiven her. When the Queen passed away in September 2022, there were immediate speculations as to what it would mean for Meghan and Harry. Because they had stepped back as working members of the royal family, there were speculations as to whether or not they would be allowed to join in the funeral ceremony and rites. There were also speculations as to what it would mean for Meghan and whether or not she would be welcomed by the family. For those who still don't know, the relationship between Meghan and her in-laws is still very strained, and according to reports, William and Harry rarely speak on the phone unless absolutely necessary. Their relationship is still quite fragile and a far cry from what it used to be. Then there were reports that King Charles forbade Harry from bringing Meghan along with him to Balmoral Castle for the Queen's final moments. When Meghan finally arrived in the UK for the funeral, social media lost its mind and she was dragged for even trying to attend the funeral. People were talking about how she should have never attended because 
because she stole the queen's grandson from her and made it difficult for her to see her great-grandchildren. Hashtags like go home Megan, Megan is a monster, and Megan is a liar were trending online. And if this sounds familiar, it's because it's very similar to the hashtags that were used for Amber Heard when she was getting dragged. In fact, there have been quite a lot of comparisons that are being drawn between Megan and Amber. For one, people are claiming that Megan manipulated the media just as Amber did. We all know the story about how Amber wrote an op-ed that painted Johnny Depp as the bad guy, claiming that she was the victim of DV in the marriage and painting herself to be the victim and the hero. When the truth came to light, Amber was accused of using the media for her selfish interest and to ruin Johnny. People have pointed out the similarities between this and Meghan's interview with Oprah where she opened up about her experiences with the royal family. Meghan exposed the royal family for being racist because they were worried about how dark her kids were going to be. Hold up, there are several, right con there several conversations There's a conversation it. with you? With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be? potentially and what that would mean or look like. She and Harry also admitted that a huge part of the reason they decided to leave the UK was the fact that the royal family didn't give them the same level of support that was given to the other members. Was the move about getting away from the UK press, because the press is, you know, is everywhere, mm. or was the move because you weren't getting enough support from the firm? Megan also claimed that she was told that her son was not going to be given the title of prince when he was born. They didn't want him to be a prince or a princess, not knowing what the gender would be, which would be different from protocol, and that he wasn't going to receive security. What? It was really hard. But then people called her out for lying about this, saying that the only reason her son wasn't given the title of prince was that he was far removed from the throne because his great-grandmother was the queen and that he would get his prince title when Charles became king. Just like Amber was accused of manipulating the public, Meghan was also accused of lying about the royal family and trying to manipulate the public with her lies. She was also accused of being a narcissist and trying to paint herself as the victim. There have been countless tweets comparing Meghan to Amber, like this one that says, Meghan Markle appears to be another Amber Heard. By the way, the reason the British public has rejected Harry and Meghan is that they rejected the British public. They wanted titles without the public duty. It's as simple as that. And this other one that said, both Amber and Meghan are very draining individuals. They want to dictate their craziness to you and expect you to follow through until it no longer works for them. Then they cry victim, blame you, and move on. The RF is in a good position if they stay focused and don't give in. But then, there have also been tweets defending Meghan, like this one that said, don't compare Meghan to Amber. Amber is an abuser. Meghan isn't. Meghan has done nothing wrong. You just choose to believe mainstream media and tabloids with their lies. And this other tweet saying, comparing her to Amber is BS. Megan has done nothing at all to deserve what's being done to her by racist Europeans except to exist as a black woman. Since her first date with Harry became public, y'all have been hounding her. And to be honest, there is no grounds on which Megan could be compared to Amber. When it comes to Amber, there has been countless evidence that was even shown in court that proves Amber was the aggressor in the relationship and tried to defame Johnny by publishing the article, which is the reason why she lost her case against Johnny Depp. But there is no evidence to substantiate that Meghan lied about the royal family, even when her own husband, Harry, is standing by what she said. Also, the British media almost always posts negative headline about her, like when she was based for cradling her baby bump, but Kate was praised for it. Interestingly, according to an insider, Meghan is aware of all the negativity that is being thrown her way, and she is sick and tired of it. The source revealed that Meghan came to the UK to support Harry because he loved his grandmother very much and was heartbroken at her passing, and she wanted to do her duty as a member of the royal family. The source also revealed that whether or not Meghan are working members of the royal family, they are still family and Meghan had every right to be at the funeral, and she was upset with the cold reception that she got. The source claimed that she has seen all the comments comparing her to Amber Heard, and she thinks that it is ridiculous that people are comparing her to Amber. According to the source, Amber lied to the world and nearly ruined Johnny Depp's life, but all Meghan did was speak her truth, so she thinks that it's silly that she is being compared to Amber. So is Meghan really as bad as Amber, or are people taking things a little too far? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you thought this drama was insane wait till you watch this next video.